Okay, I've beat hardcore mode. I have, and I did it for real. As in, no new game plus. I know a lot of people like new game plus. I can't stand it personally. I've never liked it. Sure, it's cool for having a look at what new weapons you can get and maybe have a quick mess about with them, but I've never liked infinite ammo. I can't stand that shit. I like to look for resources, upgrade my guns. You know what makes action horror games action horror games in the first place. I don't want to be like... I don't want to be Rambo running through this shit. Jesus. You know what I mean? Like, let's, let's just calm down with that shit. I know other people enjoy that stuff, but I've got no interest in it. So I did hardcore. For real. Now, if you saw my last video, you saw that I had a very good time with this game. I gave it a 9 out of 10. I said there was things I didn't like. I didn't like the difficulty because I thought it was too easy. Everything I did was on standard difficulty. I thought it was too easy. And by the midpoint of the game, it was like brain dead easy. Like, because the second you. Honestly, the only issue I was having at the start of the game was how slow Leon is with reloading his pistol and the rear fire. Once I upgraded those things, honestly, the game was like brain dead. I just destroyed everything left and right, and I'm just like, what? What even is the point? So I was just like, it, I felt like that was messing with my opinion of the game. Because, I mean, the game does state, if you read it, if you've played Resident Evil 2005, like Resident Evil 4 2005, then put it on hardcore mode. I didn't listen to it, I just put it on standard because I never, ever do harder runs straight away. I just don't do it. I mean, I might have done it in the past, but that thing is rare. So obviously, went back to do it in hardcore, hoping my opinion would change. And then the question that you're all wondering is, well, did it? Absolutely it did. It was way better. I loved every fucking second of hardcore mode. It was, it was perfect. There was bits that were kind of like, fuck, my back's up against the wall. My ammo's not too great. I had to switch out my weapons. There was a, do you know the um, the siege fight, the bit in the cabin where you've got to like lock it down. I went into that fight with my pistol, my shotgun, a knife, and like maybe one first aid spray, and it just wasn't getting the job done. And I was just like, I do not buy the bolt action rifle on Resident Evil 4. I just don't do it. And the reason I don't do it is because when you're fighting the regenerators later on in the game, it's kind of annoying like doing a bolt. To get your, your, your round by in before taking a shot at them. Because they do move pretty quick. So I was just like, no, I've got to hold out. I can't waste cash on buying a rifle. i got to hold out until I can buy the semi-auto rifle later. But I didn't. Because I was like, my back's up against the wall here. It's forcing my hand. I need another weapon. And I could have bought the TMP. But I thought the TMP sucked. The bolt thrower, the crossbow. That is mandatory i never used it once in standard i bought it tried it and was like what is this shit in hardcore i needed that motherfucker i needed it when my ammo was like really low and um, the sniper rifle i just grabbed that because i was like fuck it i need the extra shot i do i had a couple of rounds for it and i was like i've got the money to buy it it's like i have a bite the bullet now and buy it and then like upgrade it and take that into combat so i did it i was like fuck it i'm just gonna do it and i won I won with a bolt action, it, it, it changed, like it changed the balance of the fight, it put it in my favour, and I was just like, that is what I've been needing, that's exactly what I have been needing, from the beginning, that's what I needed from standard, I needed that extra challenge, hardcore is beautifully balanced, it is. Zero complaints. There was a few times I was stuck in a room and I was dying a few times, but I just strategized. I was like, right, I need to do this here, do that there, and it changed everything. It is a completely different ball game when you're on hardcore, and it's it's phenomenal. It is one of the well, it was already one of the best games ever, but it is like top tier game now. Like I'm still not ready to say it's better than the original. And I have got some things I want to talk about that I never talked about in that other um, video about the differences. Which I'll do a different thing, but I just want to talk about hardcore and what this game is. I don't want to bring in the original for this. 
even the island, I know in the last video I complained about the island, the island did not feel as war zone -y. Sure, it's, it, it is war zone because you're like fighting like soldier Ganados and you know what I mean? And there's a lot, like the helicopter comes out and there's a lot of explosions and shit, but it's like in hardcore it made me think more of like Resident Evil Village near the end, you know when you control Chris and you're running through destroying all the, the werewolves. It felt more like that, if that makes sense. Like, I was I was gearing up for the end. Somebody said something on my last video where they were like, I like the island because it's like a power shift. Instead of, like, the, the village and the castle where you're hunted, you're against, your back's against the wall. It, it When you get the island, it's like, you taking over now, you're gonna d dominate. And I can kind of see that, I can kind of see the appeal. I definitely still think it takes it a little bit too far. It does, because, I mean, if you look at games like The Evil Within, the first one, at the end, it does give you a turret so you can, like, gun some shit down near the end, and it's like, yeah, that that's a kind of a power shift. I get the appeal, but I still feel like it goes a little bit too far. I do, but... The balancing from standard to hardcore, it was just beautiful. It was, it really was. So I said in my last video, this game is like a 9 out of 10. It's like a 9.3 out of 10, I want to say right now. And it could go higher. We have a professional mode that I still need to do, and I will do it fresh, legit. I'm not going to cheese that. I know a lot of people cheesing that too, and they're like, oh, I'm just running through it in for that ammo. No, 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 no. I'll do that for real as well. I don't like, like I said, I don't like New Game Plus. I don't. I do want, don't get me wrong, I do want all the achievements, and I'm willing to do them, but like... I've got no interest in speedrunning the game right now, and to get those those S pluses, you've got to run the game, and I've got no interest in that right now. I'm just soaking it in. I take my time. Both playthroughs for this this game, I've been nearly like 15 hours on each one, and it's just exploring. Like on my first playthrough, I got all the requests done on standard, and some other things done. But then when it came to um hardcore I thought I wouldn't do it I was like I'll just kind of go through and get get what I need done Um I still picked up majority of the treasures I didn't get all of them I by the time I did the island I had all of the treasures on the island so that was an achievement that I popped on hardcore and I was just like I wasn't even trying to get that that just kind of happened Um there was honestly it was just a, a really good really really good experience and I should have played that from the beginning in all honesty I should have but I only, I never bought the TMP the whole time, I had the, the first pistol, I had the shotgun, the first shotgun, I got the first rifle, I fully upgraded at this time, I even relied on it against the regenerators and it worked perfectly fine, honestly when you upgrade that rifle it just felt great, it looks good, the gun model looks awesome, it does, there was just so much that, honestly, that was fucking superb, I loved majority of it, I did. Um, any kind of like issues that I was feeling with the island kind of were just like eh, It's not that bad honestly and like the more I think about it. There's a lot of stuff that's been cut from Resident Evil 4 That I'm kind of glad that was cut. It's not like There's some stuff that I'm not Glad it cut just so we're clear like the laser rooms gone. That's good. That's, that's silly There's the boulders the boulders are fucking stupid but the, the, there are other things where this just game, as I went through the second time, there was more and more that I was finding that I was like appreciating instead of like constantly comparing it. Because it's a remake at the end of the day, you're going to compare it. But I was like, I wanted to go in and just kind of appreciate what it is. And I did this time and it was, it was absolutely awesome. It was. I loved all of it. And some bits were a headache. The hardest bit, I think I died the most. When I was fighting um, Salazar, Salazar's boss fight was a bit of a pain in the ass. I'm not gonna lie, and it wasn't more so to do with like ammo. I wasn't like, oh shit, I've got no ammo. Can't do this. Can't do that. It was in standard. I could kind of tank him, so it didn't matter what he did. I had all this fucking health, all this ammo. I was just kind of like, if you hit me, I don't give a shit. I'm just gonna keep it, like shooting you. And because I could tank everything, I never needed to learn anything. Do you get what I mean? Then when I went into hardcore, no, 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 you can't do that now. You'll die. He hit you twice and your health's gone. Your bot armor goes like straight out the window. So it's like, you learn what you need to shoot when to shoot or die. Pick one. I was like, there we go. When I play these games, I always find the 
easiest method to win. That's just the way I play. In standard, the easiest way to win was just shoot everything. You had so much health, so much ammo, you never had to worry, ever. Hardcore, yeah you do. You be careful out there, or you get dominated. Now will Pro take it too far and Pro be imbalanced and be really frustrating? I don't know. Will it be even better? Who knows, like I said, I'm gonna do it fresh. And I'll probably do a video on that, but I also wanna do a video on... A comparison with these motherfuckers, because I think people are like ignoring how good the original Resident Evil 4 is, I do, and I've got some complaints, I'm not saying Resident Evil 4, the original's better, if, honestly, if you tell me you think this is better than the original, I'm not even gonna argue with you, I could see it, honestly, I can really see it now, <laughs> um, but at the same time, I think we need to, like, talk about it, because at the end of the day, that game is phenomenal, and I think people are misremembering or forgetting about certain things and why they should be in this game. They should. Um, but just to point something out as well, I've just started doing like some achievement hunting. I wanted the other two treasure maps complete, so I put it on the easiest difficulty that assisted shit. Dear lord, that shit's a joke. Easiest stuff ever. It is. So, um, yeah, honestly, hardcore changed. Like, it upped the score by 0.3, but it upped the score. The game was already phenomenal, but I was just like, there was just something missing from it. It wasn't intense enough for Resident Evil 4. Hardcore was perfect. Loved all of it. All right, people, if you haven't played Resident Evil 4, I absolutely, absolutely recommend it. However, play on hardcore. Unless you really don't give a shit about challenge, you know what I mean? That's just me, personally. But if you want something a bit more... Like the original, that's the one you want, hardcore. Alright people, I'll catch you later.